It wasn't the sunniest day, but definitely not the coldest day. In fact, temperatures were near normal once again, if not up by a couple of degrees, but feeling more like early winter and early January for the moment as we're at 26 degrees at the airport and the sky remains cloudy. Um, not much really going on in the northern plains right now. The big activity is still down to the south, Texas, Oklahoma, um, as well as New Mexico. There's that counterclockwise circulation, low pressure pushes off to the east. That's going to bring uh, showers, thunderstorms, and even a bit of snow to some parts of the southern United States. But at home, temperatures are mostly in the low to mid 20s right now. Cloudy all around and our wind remaining mostly light out of the south. The farther north you go, that Arctic air is eventually going to make its way farther south. So for now, we have at least another six days or so before the frigid weather really makes its way into the northern plains. But for now, we are looking at 21 for Rolla as well as Candu Stanley at 23 as well as Harvey with that light wind out of the southwest. And that will continue for tomorrow. Expect the cloudy sky to linger, maybe a couple of areas of patchy fog in the morning, but we are going to be gradually monitoring the cold front as that pushes through. Well, we could be looking at a little bit of light snow, not necessarily for tomorrow morning, but watch what happens during the afternoon. Low pressure makes its way eastward and that increases our snow chances for the second half of your Friday into your Saturday morning, and that's going to be statewide. If there is any good news out of this is that this is not going to be a significant storm system, but a few places, especially across the eastern third of North Dakota, may pick up roughly an inch to two inches in some spots, but it might not. We're roughly around that inch or less threat, but that will all depend because we are going to have at least two waves pushing through. Not heavy snow, but light snow with very light accumulation. And as we time it out for you, things are good for tomorrow morning as you head out the door, but by lunchtime and beyond, that's where that first wave comes through with snow likely continuing through our commute home tomorrow night. Afterwards, we could get a little bit of a break during the early morning hours, but then um, we're looking at better weather at least for your Saturday. So for the second half of Friday into Saturday morning is when we're going to have those snow chances for the Minot area. The rest of Saturday looking great, but a little bit colder. You'll notice those temperatures already down into the teens for the second half of your Saturday. If you have any travel plans, um, not expecting any worries across North Dakota, but if you're going to, let's say, um, the Central Plains, that's where things are going to be a bit rocky next week. So weather conditions there are going to be a bit treacherous for traveling. But for now, we've got a 50% chance of snow for the second half of your Friday, 40% for Saturday morning. Sunday, slight chance of a flurry or two for Sunday and Monday, but look at next week, Wednesday, a high of 14. Thursday, a high near zero degrees. So that lets you know what's about to come, Joe. Ooh, that time of the year. Thank you so much, Henry.